Hey love tribes, welcome, welcome to Sarita's Intuitive Love Guidance. I'm going to be doing the Daily Divine Masculine Check. See what is going on with our masculines per usual. I'm going to be using this new deck that I received in the Feels Love Edition by the Jade Moon. So check her out. I will link her Etsy site down below. Tell her I sent you. So let's go ahead and get started. See what is going on with your divine counterpart on how they are feeling towards you. Spiritual awakening. I feel there's an energy here of this masculine awakening. I feel there was some interference possibly with a third party situation, ego interference. Something was interfering with you in the masculine's connection. What else is going on with the masculines on how they are feeling towards divine femmes? Woo! Wow, I spy came out and marriage. Wow. So there's some energy here of action, movement, and decisions or in regards to a marriage or a commitment type of relationship that they are spying on. I feel like they are trying to observe a situation when it comes to either their own marriage or own commitment with a third party. And they're trying to plan out some kind of strategic move. And that, that could be the interference, a third party situation. That I feel this masculine has been hiding emotions from you. Hiding how they truly feel. Some of these masculines um, are not quite admitting what's going on in a relationship. And so some of you divine femmes have to really kind of spy and see what is going on. Let's just see what this I spy energy is about. What is this I spy energy that this masculine is feeling? Divine femmes. Wow. They are spying on you, divine femmes. I feel like there's an energy here that they know that they need to really figure out some options. I think that's the action, movement, and decisions energy. Trying to release the control, trying to let go of their own ego. I see water and mountains here. So a lot of emotions that they are trying to overcome with the mountain energy. Water represents our emotions. Mountains are challenges, obstacles. And so there's an energy of them trying to either control or delete a third party situation. And they're kind of observing in this I spy energy. Figuring things out. Let's see what this marriage energy is about. What is this marriage energy about? What is this marriage energy about? What is this marriage energy about? Okay, wow. So, for the marriage energy, we have soulmates, sexual energy, triggers and differences, and communication. So, there's an energy here of arguments. They know that there are differences. Some of these masculines are staying because of a situation. Some of these masculines want to marry you as well. I see soulmates energy, like a connection like no other. There is that water in the background. Some of you are feeling very, um, like this chemistry between you and the masculine. Sorry, let me fix this uh, cord. My phone is plugged up and... I was I kept touching it with my leg. Um, and so they just can't let you go. They may be married or in a committed relationship. And there's just something about you that they can't let go. And I know there may be some triggers and differences at the moment. I feel like some of you masculines and femmes are at each other's throat arguing at the moment. Going back and forth trying to um, state your own dominance. And I think that really bothers this masculine's ego. 
when you stick up for yourself in this communication so i'm getting this this mask is going to be communicating towards you let's see what this communication energy is about what is this mask going to communicate to divine femmes about <clears throat> Wow, look at that. So I feel that this is a, a situation that either you're rejecting this connection at the moment because of a situation that is indifferent to what you would like. I'm also getting that this masculine is trying to reject this connection. I, In a sense of like, this feels too good to be true we can't do this i i'm in i'm in a situation you know there's a waiting energy here i do see there are some plans whew, of wanting to meet up dating and because there's just still that chemistry and seduction and attraction that they have i feel like this is also an energy of like please wait for me or i'm going to wait for you there's like a a man here holding a chair and it's like waiting for you wanting to meet up and talk and i feel like you have also been trying maybe rejecting the masculine and they don't like that feeling some of this energy is they are waiting to reach out to you because of a situation that they are trying to be strategic at it and and figure things out maybe it is with another person that they're dealing with or their own ego or whatever they got going on in their life Let's see what this rejection energy is about. And so the masculine is replaying the memories. I feel there's an energy of divine timing. Waiting for the right timing. I know it's kind of like when is ever the right timing, but... It's all on their own soul journey and their timing. Um, let's see what they feel about this twin flame energy. What is this twin flame energy? Let me adjust this screw, um, video. I'm sorry, guys. It's just I feel like there's just no space to put my cards. All right. Let's just see what this twin flame energy is about. Past lives and karma and shift. So what I'm getting with this karma energy is they see you, Divine Femmes. They are reliving this karma. They have to pay this karmic debt, possibly leaving a third party situation. But their eyes are still on you. They can't stop thinking about you with this twin flame energy. And I feel there's an energy of things shifting. They just need to remove their mask, really, um, release some secrets, things that they are hiding within, possibly with a third party situation. Let's see what the shift energy is about, spirit. What is this shift energy? Soul tribe, heal money issues. And that's the thing, their soul recognizes you, Divine Femmes. And they are trying to either heal themselves, heal a money situation that they are maybe dependent on with the karmic, or the karmic's dependent on them, but more to be revealed. So there is a shift of energy. Things are coming towards you. The energy is shifting. I feel like a momentum is coming towards you. Of There are some plans here. Maybe someone lives by the water. I don't know what made me say that, but I just saw water. Uh, let's see what this heal money issues energy is about. Priority. See, and this is the thing, Divine Femmes. I feel there's a family situation, a dependency, maybe mother-father situation. They have kids, a home together, and it's kind of a priority. Also, an energy of things are shifting. Maybe they are trying to get more independent to really get the situation stable so they can finally up and leave. What is this soul tribe energy? 
introverted. And that's the thing, Divine Femmes. I feel like there's a, um, a transformation of some words that's going to be spoken with the butterfly over the mouth. This Mizan has been really going within kind of like a Virgo energy hermit. That there's going to be some kind of transformation when it comes to union with you, Divine Femmes. Because you're that soul tribe energy. Things are shifting. What is this action, movement, and decisions? What are they figuring out? Wow, jealousy and new perspective. I feel there was a betrayal here. Um, some doors were closed. They weren't really fully able to come towards you. You feel betrayed. And so they know there's some kind of jealousy energy here, with maybe within you, within the masculine, the karmic. And they are trying to grow with this plant energy trying to shift their perspective trying to shift and change things i feel like they're trying to be very i keep hearing strategic in this situation because of a priority what's this priority energy about dreams what is this priority about spirit secrets yeah they know that they need to take care of home because they're tired of suppressing their own happiness, suppressing their dreams, holding it in and having to make sacrifices for a situation that they can't fully come towards you because there's a passion within them. Could be a fire sign, but they want to reveal this. They want to open up and stop holding this all in. Let's see what they want to say, Spirit. What is the, what is this introverted energy? Ooh, these two cards just flew out. Wow. I ache for you. I want to be in sacred union with you. And that's the thing. I see that with that marriage energy. Did I put that card up? <laughs> Probably did. Um, I think there's another marriage card here. They want to be with you. There's a connection, a pool. Look at this person looking at each other. They feel this energy and they're hoping that you are going to be there for them waiting. And I know that's not a space that you're just like, I'm not going to sit there and just wait for you until you figure your life out. Because I don't know when you will come back. And honestly, it's all in divine timing. It's part of their journey. They have to figure that out. But it is an energy of you having to really surrender this connection. Not saying you're done completely, but... Don't allow this to consume you and not allow you to kind of live your life in a sense of being so focused on the masculine. Because even if you feel lonely, your masculine feels that as well. They are lonely just because they are in another relationship or by themselves and having to do something. They still wonder if you miss them, love them, even though y'all are not talking. They question it. Just as much as you question it as well. <clears throat> so let's push this to the side and get some messages from Divine Masculine to you, Divine Femmes. I know we aren't speaking right now, but I miss you so much and I think about the past a lot. They are reminiscing the memories. I'm jealous when I spy on you. You're so beautiful and I'm scared someone else is going to sweep you off your feet. And that's that jealousy energy. They know that they can't really fully commit to you, but they're hoping that no one else sweeps you off your feet. And that's that waiting energy. They're like wanting you to wait because they see you. They know who you are and how amazing you are. They just feel stuck and stagnant to a situation. You made me a better person. I look up to you. You have really influenced them. In a good way. One more energy spirit. My family thinks highly of my karmic partner. I want to leave. And I'm not speaking because I'm in a low vibrational place right now. And this maybe because their family thinks that they have kids together. And it's like that old traditional. You need to stay for the kids. You need to make this work out for the kids. It's always work it for the kids but at the same time you know it is very toxic for the kids to view if you are not happy kids just want a happy mom and father i understand we want to stay in a relationship stay in the same household be together for the kids but you are mirroring their future 
if they see toxicity within you and within their parents, then they're going to grow up thinking that's the right thing. And you see a lot of these masculines and our own inner child wounds that we, we eventually become just like our parents. It's a generational trauma, generational curse, and you need to break those generational patterns. And so this masculine really needs to find the courage and the strength to leave the karmic. It's not serving your kids at all. It's not serving your family because that's what they want. Do what you want, masculines. And I feel this is why they are like trying to talk about their connections to their friends or a wise counsel. Because maybe their family is telling them to stay and they're like, this is just doesn't seem right. Alright guys, well I hope this helps. Much love.